Good morning, everyone. Today is September 2nd. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I want to show you a little bit of my morning routine to help you learn English. This video will have subtitles so you can follow along in English. Say hello to Derby. This is my dog, Derby. I don't know if you can hear, but they're playing reggaeton in the background. This is Union City, my hometown, and it has a big Latino population. So I wanted to show you my daily routine, what I do in the morning. First thing I do after my coffee, I like to take Derby for a little walk. Usually we walk from my house to the river. In this case, it's the Hudson River. And across the Hudson River, of course, you have New York City. Today is a little bit chilly. It's the second day of September. It's still the summer. We had a huge storm yesterday. Many areas flooded. My area didn't flood because we live up on the cliffs, the high grounds. So we're pretty lucky because I saw some videos and it looks pretty crazy. So let's go down to Hoboken to check it out. So as you can see, some branches have fallen from the tree. Obviously my dog likes that. For him, a branch is just a big stick, a big toy. Derby is smelling around. He likes to sniff everything, every plant, every post. And he also likes to mark his territory, if you know what I mean. Come on, Derby, let's go. Derby has delayed our walk a little bit. Now he wants to hang out in the dog run with the little dog park. If you're gonna be here, at least run around and get some exercise. Lazy dog. So Derby gave up on the walk after he did his business. To do your business is a euphemism for using the bathroom, number two. He gave up on the walk. Now he's home, laying in front of the fan, just relaxing. Actually, he just got a little excited. He started barking. When people pass the house, he likes to bark. Isn't that right, Derby? Are you ignoring me? He's ignoring me. Now I'm in the backyard. My backyard. Now Derby wants to go outside again. Now it's around 10 o'clock, 10.30 a.m. or 10.30 in the morning. I still haven't had breakfast, so I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm literally fasting. They have a diet called intermittent fasting. And breakfast really means to break your fast, to start to eat. So that's what I need to do. I could make something in the kitchen, maybe some toast, maybe some eggs, but I think I will go to the bakery. There is a Colombian bakery by my house that I really like. So I think that is what I will do. I do that about once or twice a week. The rest of the days I eat breakfast at home. It's always good to smell the roses as we say. These aren't roses, but to appreciate nature. Okay, Derby's boy. This is actually the rose bush and every rose has its thorn but it's not in season right now so there are no roses and yes that's sharp I literally just got pricked by that rose bush as I was making a joke telling you how sharp it was it's quite painful okay Derby let's go back inside do you want some water drink some water as you can see I'm starting to bleed because of that rose bush. It's a little lesson. Sometimes the things that are the most beautiful are what hurt you the most. 
Now I'm trying to get Derby to come inside, but he won't listen. So I have to entice him with a treat. Do you want a treat? Do you want this treat? I know you want this treat. Yes, you want this treat. <laughs> okay. Come on upstairs. I <laughs> well, I gave him the treat and I didn't get what I wanted. Stubborn dog. Yes, you're stubborn. Okay, I have a slight change of plans. I will make breakfast at home. So the typical, there's not a typical breakfast in the United States, but the easiest sandwich to make is the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, also known as the PB&J. Most American kids, at least kids that grew up in my generation, born in the late 80s, early 90s, grew up with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Your mom or your dad would pack your lunch, make you a little PB&J. Sometimes they would cut off the crust. I like mine with the crust. I also like mine toasted. So this is the cabinet. Let's check the fridge now because I think the jelly is in the fridge. Okay, so I have some strawberry jelly. Now I need the bread. So I have some whole wheat bread. I think whole wheat's a little bit healthier. Oh, now you come inside. Yeah, you messed up my breakfast plans. He doesn't care. Okay, so I will toast the bread right now. Okay, the bread is in the toaster. I will let it toast for a few minutes. I'm going to need a plate for the sandwich. I will need two knives to spread the peanut butter and jelly. I don't want to mix up the peanut butter and jelly in the jars. Of course, I can mix it up in the sandwich, but not in the jar. I don't want this jar to be full of peanut butter or this jar to be full of jelly. I could also use a coffee. I've already had a coffee today, but I can always have another one. What do you think, Derby? You hungry? I just gave you a few treats. Yeah. The weather also changed, or actually not the weather, the temperature changed. It was sunny and chilly. Now it's sunny and mild probably around 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which would probably be around 21, 22 degrees Celsius. Don't quote me on that, which means that's not exact. I will actually check right now so that we know the exact temperature. Wow, I was pretty much, oh, toast is ready. I was pretty much spot on with the temperature in Celsius. It's 20 degrees Celsius. I guess I've been living for a while in Latin America, and there they use Celsius. But it's 68 degrees Fahrenheit, so I was a little off on the Fahrenheit. It's actually pretty warm out, so I don't really need this jacket anymore. I do need this toast, peanut butter and jelly toast. It's a simple sandwich, but it's really good. You can't hate on the peanut, oh, you're not, this is my food, not yours. Come on. Okay, he's begging. You shouldn't feed your dog at the table, but because he's hungry. Okay, that's it for you. Let me eat in peace. Actually, I need a coffee. I finished my PB&J. Now I have my cup of coffee. We call this a coffee mug. I like my coffee with a little bit of milk. Wow, this porch is a mess. I believe that's my grandmother's cane. Uh, no one in my house uses a cane. Derby is resting. I believe that now I will take a walk. This is probably the most beautiful day of the year. I really love this season. This season is called the fall. You can also call it autumn. It's actually still summer, but it feels like fall. The summers in New Jersey and New York City are really hot. 
They're nice if you have a beach house and you can go to the beach and get an ocean breeze. But if you're stuck in the city, it's almost unbearable. It's almost too hot. But this type of weather is perfect. So I think that I will take a little bike ride and show you around the neighborhood. Maybe make another video doing a little bike tour through my neighborhood in English. If you like these videos in English with subtitles, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.